This battle between static and dynamic typing is one of the longest lasting and bloodiest battles in all of computing. But there's really no right answer to which is best. It depends on what you're doing. We're going to stick with Python for the rest of this course. But to be a complete programmer, you should have experience with both static and dynamically typed languages. And in fact, the distinction between the two is starting to get blurry. There's lots of languages that are primarily statically typed, like C Sharp, that include some dynamically typed features. And there's also ways to use static checking to increase the likelihood that your Python programs are correct.